Thank you so much. Here with Alex O'Loughlin, Steve McGarrett himself. How you doing? Yeah. Very well, thank you. How are you? Oh, pretty good. So it's taken you a good 20 minutes to probably go 50 yards from the street over to here. Yeah. What's taken so long? You got a lot of people to talk to. Lots of lots of my, you know, yeah, 10,000 of my closest friends that I'm trying to catch up with on the way to you. But you get any interesting questions? No, not yet. A lot of them are screaming at my face, yeah. <laughs> and so I'm trying to get through the, the, the screams to the questions. Well, but. Surely by now you're used to being a heartthrob, the man, or does it still feel kind of strange? Um, I'm sorry to turn my back on no you. No worries. Should we huddle? Okay, we yeah. Huddle? okay yeah. I'll, I'll huddle with Alex. Um, Let's do the interview like this. <laughs> I know, I am. It feels, Get your heart out. it feels good to be here, man. That's all I know that. We've got about 100 people standing just off camera right here, know, uh, taking photos, show. screaming. Did you guys see the waves today? Look at that. <laughs> did you surf today? I didn't. No, I kind of slept and hung with my dog. Uh, uh, level, level with me here. I know Scott Kahn's a big time surfer. How much of a surfer are you? And be honest. Oh, I'm a terrible surfer, man. I, I, no, yeah, no, no, I, I'm not like that. It's a pretty steep learning curve, but I love it so much. I can get up and surf on a wave. How often do you go? As often as I can, which is about once or twice a week. What's the biggest wave you've surfed so far? Here? Yeah. Um, uh, the biggest wave is, well, I've wiped out on a couple of kind of 10 foot faces, but the biggest I've got up on is probably like an eight foot face. Nice. Yeah, yeah. little baby ones compared to the, the North Shore. Your producers must be freaked out telling you don't nah, get hurt. Nah, no, it's just jagged reef underneath. Uh, That'd <laughs> be cool. It's yeah. a million dollar TV franchise. Yeah, but... you know, a billion dollar TV billion franchise. Dollars. That's true, you know, you raise a good point. Let's segue <laughs> to the, the business angle. Yes, Terry O'Keefe knows a lot about this. Let's, let's talk about the work a little bit, Alex. Wait, are you good to keep hugging? Uh, yeah, okay, but if you hug. want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but so we've talked about raising the bar. You know, season one, the finale was amazing. Thank so you. how do you raise the bar this season to do even better? Well, you know what? That's up to people like Peter Lenkoff, who's our showrunner, and our incredible team of writers. You know, I mean, they deliver all the material that, that you know, I mean, it's once I get the, that's that's where it all starts. And we just try to try to be, you know, do what we do with the material. But it really starts in the writing room. and. They have these incredible ideas and, and a great directing team as well as a great acting team. And, you know, everybody who works on this show is great at what they do and that's it's a true collaboration and this is what it looks like in a hit show, I guess. I've never had it before. So. I was wondering, what do you guys do? Um, where, where are you? Where will we find you at 9 o'clock on a Monday night in Hawaii? Are Where you will you find me? me? Are you watching the show? I, try to, I try to watch the show. I, I can usually... It's difficult for me to watch it when it airs with the rest of you because I can't afford the time. It's, it's better for me just to watch the 42 minutes on the disc because then I can get back to work. But we work, we work a lot. Yeah. So, oh, I know, I know. Yeah. You're working 17, 18 hours a day sometimes. Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. We try not to do those days, but sometimes you have to. Yeah. We were talking to your boss earlier, David Staff, the uh, yes. president of CVS Studios, yep. and they took a chance on you. They put you in a couple of different shows that didn't work out before this. At some point in your career, were you thinking, oh my goodness, is this, is this really going to work for me? And at what point did you realize, yes? Well, look, CBS has been my biggest champion, and David and Nina and Les are just, you know, I, I will forever be indebted and love them for, for the support they've given over the years. And the, the thing for me was like, okay, I've been the face of two shows that haven't worked. You know, do I want to go through that again? And if I do and it doesn't work, what does that mean? And but you get, you know, you, I just asked everybody what they thought in my life and they were like, you're an idiot if you don't do it, it's a wife over. Right. And so, you know, I just kind of went in blind, but I trust them implicitly and, and, and this is why, you know, this, this is testament to, uh, of course, all of us doing our job here, but those guys are the visionaries. So. An yeah. even bigger turnout than last year. Did you see yeah. your fans from Australia again? Not yet, no. I've I heard a couple of Aussie voices in the crowd, but I'll, I'm, I'll catch up with them. All right. They're at the end of the red carpet waiting for you. Okay, there it is. I All think right. I'm going there now. Alex O'Loughlin, so nice time. to uh, talk with you. Thanks for your time. And, uh, good luck. I know you got a ways to go. Thanks, bud. Yeah, this is this is the first the first stop. So wish, yeah. wish me luck. You get. We get. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, there he is, the man himself, Alex O'Loughlin. And we will be right back live from Waikiki. Alex O'Loughlin and the rest of the gang.